Here's the story of saving the Coos Bay Swing Bridge. It's just a short history I'll give of this swing bridge that's served well over 100 years. Uh, it finally has succumbed to the elements that salt, wind, and neglect. Much of the center span was virtually collapsing. You can see in the pictures the yellow controller shack in the center span where the structure is failing. It's actually falling down. In the beginning, the steel structure uh, was brought to Coos Bay by ship. Um, it was brought into the harbors at North Bend and Marshfield. It was Coos Bay now, but it was Marshfield at the time. And that steel was moved from ship to barges where it was brought to the site where the uh, bridge would be constructed. There'd be workers on the north side and there'd be workers on the south side. And the bridge is made up of nine 150 foot spans totaling 2,180 feet and one span 458 feet making approximately 2,208 feet of steel. Finally, a five bent ballast trestle built of cedar pilings made up the remaining sections of 2,988 feet. That's on each side, north and south. There were 14 piers containing 16,000 yards of concrete for the center span. Also, you will see here how the piles were encased in concrete and that was to help preserve them. The date of 1914 you'll see is cut into the steel uh, structures overhead. Um, that is not the actual date uh, that the bridge was constructed or built. The steel was actually built, was made before that date, and the actual completion date was two years after of 1916. That was April 6th. The completion date um, followed with Willamette Pacific Railway, um, who had opened up the main right-of-way, turning that over to Southern Pacific, um, who ran the first train, which was on April 6th of 1916. With great fanfare, the first train came across the bridge into North Bend. 192 tickets were sold for the first public ride, and the public was really excited. The train was greeted with shouts of joy and the North Bend High School band playing the music. Confetti was thrown out as the train came in. It was all, the confetti was all donated by the merchants of North Bend and Coos Bay or Marshfield who donated funds for the confetti and my grandfather being one of those, he donated $10 towards the fund. That was quite a bit of money in those days. The railroad cost $1,500,000 and opened up the area for transportation and, and industrial uses. This was the world's largest shipping port for lumber for many, many years. Coos Bay served North Bend and Marshfield and with the rail link ran all the way to Coquille, Myrtle Point, and into Powers. The rail is gone now from Coquille to Powers. That's all been taken up. My grandfather, Dr. Philip John Kaiser, came here uh, in 1913 for the first time and to practice medicine in 1914 after he graduated from Willamette University. He was a surgeon and served in World War I and here originally in the logging camps around Powers. Um, there were many accidents of which a lot of them were fatal. Um, others he was able to take care of but they would be put on trains and, and moved back into towns where they could be taken care of. Um, transportation was almost totally by rail at the time. It's just cars, just there weren't many roads around. Um, not many people had cars. This link was very important to early travel connecting the area to the East Coast where he and his brother studied medicine with the male brothers. My grandfather opened up the Kaiser Hospital and Kaiser Brothers Hospital in North Bend in the 1920s. He also served as mayor of North Bend, 1920s. He also served on the first port commission in the area. These great men worked to bring the railroad to the area. They even 
took excursions to Lakeside for large public picnics. The whole the whole town would get together and they would have these big picnics and they would go out on the weekends or on a Sunday and have these huge picnics and enjoy the lake, the countryside. Um, it was really a fantastic thing to have these trains and to be able to travel. The rail link was so important to Coos County. It, the rail is open again and the swing bridge is operating now um, over Coos Bay. Um, it still serves the area. It's a historical icon that still stands. Time will tell the rest of the story what happens with this bridge next. Um, the area has fallen as far as lumber production. Mills are mostly gone now. There's not very many around. Um, but it's nice to see that train coming in and out, cars being left on sidings. It's wonderful. Um, on many of these pictures I've taken um, with my cannon. I've gone out, walked the beach all the way, or walked the railroad out. You'll see that the bridge itself is many areas is the corrosion is just completely through the steel. You can just see clear through it. Um, it's also in the distance in one picture you can see the North Bend McCullough Bridge um, that ties the area um, to North Bend to from the north. Um, the center section you can see West Coast contractors they have the barge there with the crane um, doing the major work on it. Uh, the turntable gears are visible in some of the pictures. Uh, all new supports and whatnot are being put up. Um, that is sad though that the controller shack um, did not uh, be part of the rebuilding because it, it bridge, bridge looks empty without it but this bridge has served so many years here and is such an icon for everyone to see uh, see the ships come through there's about a i believe the opening is about 60 feet and the main channel is on the south side um, that the piers, you can see the, the original piers are still some cased in that concrete. You can see those standing all around. There's the old power poles that used to carry all the lines for the railroad to uh, talk back and forth to the different areas. Um, you can see temporary repairs made on girders and whatnot um, to try and hold things together. Uh, the bridge is still going to need a lot of work over the years. There's a lot of it that's going to be collapsing. Uh, the, the main base is all solid, though, and the trains do continue. I do hope you enjoyed watching these clips. I've enjoyed doing it, and I thank you very much for following me on YouTube. So thank you again. Please subscribe. And like if, if you would give me a thumbs up.